Hi, Penny Lane here. In this video, I'm going to talk about incorporating your existing project data into JobTread. This is one of the things that really makes us feel nervous when we're going to switch our systems. How am I going to get my existing data into JobTread? When I connect JobTread and QuickBooks, is all of my existing data just going to show up in JobTread? How can I control this? Great news. When we connect JobTread and QuickBooks Online, JobTread is not going to go back into QuickBooks Online and pull a whole bunch of data in. You have complete control over this process. Let's presume that you have your existing job costs and project data in another system. It could be a third party system. It could be QuickBooks Online. Make sure that when you're doing this process that you're keeping your timing in mind. In other words, if it's time for me to enter my existing project data into JobTread, I don't want to keep adding to it over here with things that will also be added by JobTread. So I will leave the timing to you, but the process itself is actually extremely simple. What I like to do is first you need to make sure that your budget is entered in JobTread. But what we're gonna do to enter our existing job costs to date is we're just gonna enter one big bill for all of our job costs by cost code. I like to use a vendor, I like to set up and use a vendor called Beginning Balance. Then we'll go to each cost code and enter our existing costs to date. We're just gonna enter everything that we've got so far in our old system. When that's done, we're going to click Create. And from here, we're just going to untoggle this push to QuickBooks online, click save, then click record payment. Nothing is going to happen in QuickBooks online, but just like that, all of our existing costs have been transferred into JobTread. Similar kind of idea with the invoices. Sometimes you might want to enter your invoices each individual one so that you have that record in job tread that might be something that you share with your customers or you can enter one big invoice again for this customer that will represent all of the invoicing that you have done in the past for this example i'm just gonna put in a number right here i'm gonna make this one 100 percent i'll make this one 100 percent and I'll make this one 50%. So we're just gonna say that to date, this is all of the invoicing that has been sent to the customer. Then I'm gonna click create. I'm gonna deselect push to QuickBooks online, save, record payment, save. Just like that, all of my invoicing up to date is now in JobTread and now I am ready to roll. As usual, if you have any questions, email support at jobtread.com.